It's your boy D'Anthony. I have my boy Don here. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Blitz, if you didn't know. Boo mm-hmm. yeah, get your shirt. Yeah. Online. Hundred dollars. You want a shirt? Hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> Custom. <laughs> so we just came back from seeing Sleepless. Ooh, don't go to sleep. Don't sleep on it. Sleepless, guys. So let's just run down the cast real quick. We got Jamie Foxx. Yep. We got Scott McNary. We got Gabrielle Union, beautiful man. Every I'm like every close up, I'm like, wow, no wrinkles, nowhere. Nothing, nothing, no, no. She just man, just like stop aging. We got Ti and Michelle Munigan. She's gorgeous. She cool. She cool. She cool. She not like Gabrielle, and then you know. But, I wonder uh, if they're the same age. I don't she know. She cool. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Let's see if she's the same age. Let's see, Jennifer. 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 Age 40. Gabrielle's 40 something. You already know this. <laughs> She's 40 something. That's why I'm like, man, no wrinkles, nowhere. 43. 43. Gabrielle, 43. Wow. And winning. She's, she's Gabrielle is winning. She's definitely winning. <laughs> man. So, pretty much, we got Jamie Foxx, T.I., their partners. One's a cro- crooked cop, one's an undercover cop. And sh- shit just goes south. Yes. <laughs> Very quick. <laughs> <laughs> from the get-go, from the gate. Yeah. They're sh- having a shootout. They're robbing the- these drug dealers. And they come up, you know? But they they wrong the- they robbed the wrong person, basically. Definitely. And Jamie Foxx had more to lose than T.I. in this movie. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Apparently. So they found... Where Jamie Foxx lived and who he was. He took his son. Took his son, snatched him. Yep. I was like, man, as a cop, you're not ready? You're supposed to be ready for these scenarios. Yeah, you know what? Are, when are you ever ready? I mean, when are you ever clocked out? When I you are say. trained to be ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you know, I guess so. But, I mean, he, they, they, they took him, you know? So this is another taken scenario. You know, yet another movie with some ransom in hand. And so, you So, know, what are some things that you... Uh, you liked about it. Did you, did you like it? Is that can we say that? I liked it. I liked it because I liked the action in the movie. There was some really good scenes. Just right off the bat, you know, we got this bus going down, and then we already have this calamity. How many people are coming after this briefcase? You know, right, right. And so we got these parties from all angles coming after this briefcase of drugs, and it, it just it just went you know from there. You know, they they got his son pretty quick. You know, when they got his son, I didn't expect that to happen right then and there. Did you? I mean, it was a, out of like out of nowhere. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen because of the trailer, right? But I guess I wasn't thinking about it at that moment. But right. I wasn't like surprised. But I, I feel you. I know what you're talking about. And it was pretty early on in the movie, so I, I kind of feel like the pacing of the movie was pretty well, you know, because yep. after that it was just him trying to get his son back, right? And keeping it away from his wife, Gabrielle, right? Gabrielle Union. And so, so you liked it? I liked it. What would you rate it if you had to rate it? If I had to rate it, I would definitely give it like I'm right there, like on a seven point five, seven seven point five, um, just because I like the acting. I was nitpicking the movie a bit because there was a lot of convenient factors, but um, yeah, I mean overall there was like uh, you know it's uh, one of those crime cop type movies that I appreciate. I like it. All right. Um... I'm a little different. I'm very hard to please. Really? Yes. No if way. No. If you didn't know, <laughs> so I was excited because we get Jamie Fox. I wanted Ti to finally show me some real acting skills, um, but I just didn't get that. So, man, I'm gonna have to give it a six. I had no intellectual value. There was just all type of holes and plot points. Oh. Yes. There, you talking about, I was. There was a nitpicking. I was just picking. I was just picking out all like, the big ass. So you plot didn't tell points me. that just <laughs> was failures. We had no like character development. It was just like oh, we just would. I don't know. Like we just ran through a crowd and we just saw a glimpse of every single person that we ran through. It, but it wasn't. I don't know where they came from. I don't know why they're supposed to be scared. Or why they're supposed to be like this big gang or whatnot why are we so mm-hmm. why do we respect them so much we didn't really get that yeah and it just kind of like it just seemed like a um a money grabber for me and i w- so if i had to rate it if you had to rate it i'm six. gonna give it a six a six, a yeah. six mm-hmm. for sure um there were some i did get the, the fight scenes were, were great 
There was a lot of fight scenes. So I would say that. It was, a, the, it was a lot choreography of... Choreography was good. Yeah, Jamie Foxx kicking butt the whole movie, which I appreciate. Um, right, you don't see that a lot, you know, yeah. so I was I was good. I was happy to see that, but I wanted it to be more of like a Denzel movie. Um, Where he's kind of like the old guy, kind of moving slow and like... No, 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 but he's a, he's a well-respected, <laughs> he's a great fighter, that it, it was a, a good plot. We got some character development, and you just didn't really get that. Um, I don't know who wrote this, but I felt like he was a money grabber. There wasn't a lot of publicity about it. It wasn't marketed that well because, I mean, I think I saw the trailer uh, when I went to go see Fences and uh, the trailer came out like, you know, what, two weeks before the actual movie right. up until this point. So, All right, so I felt like they just said, you know what, kind of last uh, let's just drop this right here. And that's what happened. And I, they, I felt like they probably did this like two years ago or something. Um, <laughs> and it just, I don't know, it was just really lacking for me. The fight scenes, I like them. Fight scenes, if you're all about just action and you only care about story, then you probably would like it. I just need a little bit more of why. Like if someone, like like for instance, if there's a, a bully at your school or at your job or something and someone says, you know, you don't want to mess with them, you want to know why, right? Absolutely. You want to see like, dang, all right, let me not mess with that dude. Right. We didn't really get that. It was just like, he's the bad guys and let's go. Yeah. And I didn't really like that too much. So... I had to ding it for that. I'm going to stay with my six. You know, the critics gave it a 38. Critics gave it a 38 on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I want to say Not it, that bad. it was like a 13 on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, it was a 13? I think so, yeah. So I'm a six. So, so I'm right there. He's right a 7, 7.5. Yeah, That's kind of where it's at. I liked it a little bit more, but I mean, yeah, uh, I could nitpick the movie, of course, but for me, it was fun. So as far as like watching it, it was kind of easy to watch. The nitpicks didn't override it for me because ultimately I enjoyed the movie. Hmm, so what about the villain? Did you get like a good hero to villain complex there? I felt like the villain was kind of like an underlying villain uh, because, uh, like you mentioned, you know, why am I fearing this guy? You know, typically in these like type of uh, gangster type movies, you know, there's like a you know cartel leader that's just like, yeah, you don't want to mess with them. I seen him beat a guy with his bare hands or something, you know. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't really get that. It was just like this kind of underlying, you know, uh, um, uh, guy that's like sent off by the main head honcho. Right. And they didn't tell us who the main honcho was, but, you know, it kind of left it at you in suspense afterwards. All right. So were you buying the whole... Because I, I didn't know exactly who the bad guy was supposed to be because we got like this... The guy that was uh, over the, the hotel or over the casino. Right. And then we got the guy that's over him that he's dealing with. And I'm like, well, you. it just kind of, I don't know. I, I wanted the, I wanted that guy, I want the, the head of the casino to be more of like a real villain. You know, in the trailer, they kind of show him uh, coming out of the elevator with like a gas mask on or whatnot. Um, so that's that bad guy. And so we got these two dealing in between each other and shooting everything up. So, I mean, we didn't get the main, main villain, but if you watch the movie, uh, you'll see that maybe they leave it kind of open-ended. Uh, they might do a sequel. I just don't think they should do a sequel. I feel like this should be a one-off. The characters just weren't that interesting to me. Like, I don't really care to see Jamie Foxx's character. Yeah. Like, he's an undercover cop, mm -hmm. but no one knows this, and they never he never talks to anyone who knows it. Right. Like, I'm like, oh, are you? It's like... Man, okay, who, who do you know that uh, put you in this position? It was kind of a mixture of um, Taken and The Departed, where Jamie Foxx's character would be Le Leonardo DiCaprio's in the, the Departed and Liam Neeson. So, I know that you probably haven't seen The Departed seen or something. That. Anyway, <laughs> if you've seen it, you kind of know what I'm talking about, because he's an undercover. Um, but I appreciated what like they kind of did there. Um, so, sequel. You got a favorite part? Uh, I can't actually pick out a favorite part. That's the thing. There was a I lot can. of fight, <laughs> favorite a part. Lot of fight scenes. Jamie Foxx son get kicked the <laughs> shit out of in his chest. <laughs> ha! Right. He falls back. That was so funny. Yeah. Now I don't condone violence. Oh or really? Kicking of any kids. <laughs> but if you're in a movie. And you get kicked like that, yeah. I'm going to die laughing. You got Leonidas Spartan kick. Right. Oof. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> sit, sit down while I beat your daddy. That was so funny. He's like, kill my dad, kid. I'm like, 
<laughs> I appreciate that he tried to help, but yeah, in a real case scenario, that would have went down. Yeah, uh, that that would be my favorite part of the whole thing. Um, yeah, and then I, I, I liked uh, when Gabrielle Union comes into the to play. Actually, yeah, you know, she comes prepared. She's ready to she's ready to go. She's ready for war. She's ready for war. She's ready to protect her young cub. Right. So, she's and I actually, lion. to me, and I, I'm just maybe I'm out of line with this, but I feel like. That was the most vulnerable I've seen her as far as acting. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's usually always serious and snappy. Mm-hmm. Um, but she was actually, she was really, she, she uh, displayed a lot of, like, sadness, a lot of despair, a right. lot of just, like, vulnerability. There was a sense of urgency and panic, like, oh, my God, like, my son, you know, my husband, and she was... There, right. you know? Which is why T.I. <laughs> should not be in a movie with those type of actors. Well, he needs to be with some young actors. Ant Man. He can't be. <laughs> he cannot be in in a movie in a drama where there's actual real actors that practice their craft. Because yeah. compared when they were when him and Jamie Foxx were going at it, the I just feel like. Something's just wrong with T.I. He just yeah. can't bring it out. Jamie Foxx was carrying the scene. Definitely carrying he, it. He, 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 he carried it. I'm like, you need a retake, man? Well, let's, let's, let's retake this. Because you're not, you're not getting the You're emotions. not motivated. Right. Your... <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, everyone likes T.I. I just don't. I'm not feeling it. I don't buy it. I, for some, somehow, they're the same height. I'm like, what? <laughs> T.I. acts like T.I. <laughs> is a <the> thing. <laughs> so, no way T.I. is the same height as... Uh, Jamie Foxx, Fox. and then they even say Jamie Foxx is six foot in the movie. Now is he six foot? Probably not, oh, but they say really? it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to tell me that no. Ti is six foot? No, no, no. Get out of here, man. No, yeah. I, I'm I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm really not. Right. I just don't like Ti's acting, and I give him an opportunity. I'm like, all right, all right, Ti. I see you. I didn't even know you was in the movie. Yeah. So let me see what you got. Right. Oh. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> get off of the stage, man. Oh, man. I'm not feeling it. It I'm didn't kill it too much for me, but, um, you know, uh, I don't want to spoil the movie, so I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Um, All right, guys, so that's our review. I was just kind of on the, I was like iffy a little bit about it. He liked it. I liked it. But you know what? I think that watching the trailer actually was a lot more thrilling than watching the actual movie. So this is kind of one of those cases where they wow. put a lot of uh, action and stuff in the trailer and make it really enticing for you to actually go watch the movie. When you watch the movie, it's just a little bit like off, I guess. But I still enjoyed it. I'm not saying that like all the best parts. Sound like you didn't like it. I don't know. I liked it. You know what? It wasn't those cases where we went to uh, see the movie and none of th- nothing that was in the trailer was in the movie. Yes, the trailer was true to the movie, so right. I did appreciate that. Yeah. But I would. I, I wanted to plan. The, the plan, the trailer doesn't talk about a plan. I so now it. we got the movie. Let's get a plan. So it was pretty chaotic as far as like the movie. Everyone's kind of like scrambling everywhere. But you know what? The one thing that I also I really appreciate it is they made these people very fragile. A lot of the uh, characters of the movie is like very fragile. You know, you know anything to, can happen to anybody in this movie. You know, nobody was invincible that we see like you know a very standout hero or villain. So should you go see it? I would say go see it. If you're looking for an action movie to watch, I would recommend this one. All right. Um, I don't know if I want to say go see it. If you like Jamie Foxx, if you're a big fan, I'm talking about a big fan of T.I., because you're going to need to be a big one, <laughs> then go yeah. ahead and, and watch it. I mean, it wasn't like, it wasn't, it was a little boring to me. I'm going to say don't go watch it. That's, <laughs> let's, just, let's just say that. Don't go watch it. Um, so you got a yes and a no. Now, there are other movies that I would recommend over this one uh, because uh, yeah. <laughs> because the this month we got a lot of dramas coming up. We If you haven't seen Hidden Figures, see that one. You yeah. could actually take your kids to it and they'll learn something. Um, also, uh, if you're looking for a good drama as well, uh, there's Patriot's Day that I would also recommend to go see. So this is a Boston bombing. Uh, that one is actually really good as well. All right, guys, that's our review. Let us know what you think. Also, question of the day. Do you guys like T.I.'s acting? Ooh. Overall, or just in this movie? <laughs> Let me know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe you guys saw something that was just deep and impactful that I just can't see. Yeah. So let us know, guys. All right, we're Break Room Blitz. Like, subscribe, Blitz. share, and comment. Let us know what you guys think.